Coach, jo Coach John Vanderwall joins us now. Coach, let me ask you what I asked you the first few games. How you feeling? <laughs> Relieved, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, like, you know, it's um, it was a long day. Just sitting around waiting for a seven o'clock game. You know, obviously we got to shoot around this afternoon, and I could tell the guys were they were dialed in. They've been dialed in all week, and uh, but still, just the nerves of having to wait. Uh, felt like we were going to get it done today. Was was really confident, but <clears throat> um, just feeling relieved right now. Coach, you said this last week when uh, you won the regular season championship that uh, you know it was an odd year, but you guys did it better than anybody else. And then to go around and do this this week, and, and you did it better than anybody else this week. But just talk about just that accomplishment. No matter throw everything else out, the the lack of fans and the strange season. You got a regular season championship, and you have a tournament championship. Yeah, for just the third time in school history, won them both. Um, you know, we were sweating bullets today taking that COVID test this morning. You know, I mean, I, that's a, an accomplishment in itself. We went the entire season without anybody testing positive. Our kids did a great job of doing what they had to do, of being safe, making a ton of sacrifices, right? And so not only did they make a ton of sacrifices, but they showed up every day and they did the work. Uh, they did the work. They were bought in. They were an unbelievable group to, to coach. Um, you know, I thought right when we got back from Christmas break, December 27th, we had three weeks where we were going at it twice a day, and they, they were amazing. And uh, I knew I knew we were going to have a pretty good year if we could stay healthy um, because just cause they're, because of their attitude and approach. Coach, the only disappointing part of this is, again, not having that NCAA. Can you just talk a little bit about – I know it's disappointing, but – and I don't want you to, to – try to figure out what could have happened but like you said you, you have a pretty special group here you probably feel like could have yeah, made a run at this I mean thing. it's <sighs> I have to be careful what I say because I I'm upset about it right I mean it's just you know we're playing some really good basketball right now and this group would be a really dangerous team in the NCAA tournament and it's just really unfortunate uh, that they took that away from us uh, don't don't agree with that decision whatsoever uh, these guys deserve to play in the NCAA tournament but we can only do what we can do and control what we can control. And we controlled winning two championships this year. We're cutting down nets and got two championship trophies. And we're going into the offseason feeling pretty good with a lot of momentum going into next year. And, Coach, we were talking about this during the game. You know, potentially every one of these guys can be back but one, and that's Kyle Matoski. He's, you know, made that commitment. Can you just talk about Kyle? Uh, I mean, it's the one guy you know, the senior. Like you said before, the, the hard work and what it takes to get through four years of not just playing college sports, but to get through four years of playing for you. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Man, it's rough, isn't it? Uh, no, it, it can't be, that's for sure. But um, Kyle, holy cow, I can't say enough about him. I mean, he had 17 rebounds tonight. Holy, I mean, he was just all over the place. And, um, you know, he I'm so happy for him to finish the season on such a strong note like he did. Um, he's always, you know, come off the bench. He's never been a starter for us. He's never been the guy who's doing interviews with you guys, right? Like, he's he's always kind of taking a little bit of a back seat, and he's never once complained about it. He's just been an unbelievable teammate, uh, great young man, never had to worry about his classes or his off-the-court behavior. I mean, just he's just – He's a coach's dream. He's just totally bought in to our program and what we're doing here. And it's guys like him that, that make us really good and make us special because they just, they're, they'll just they give themselves up for, for the team. And that's what Kyle's done in his career, and he's played so well down the stretch here. I'm just so happy for him. Now, you know I was joking, but one of those guys that really responded from your coaching and all the things that you've been able to do in your, in your staff as well, and that's Jason Ellis, who eclipsed 1,000 points tonight. I mean, he, he looked like he wanted to get that out of the way early. And he got over like, about 30 seconds, I think, it was over with. I mean, he uh, he came out firing. Um, yeah, he's a special player, you know, and he's he's a guy that, you know, when we recruited him, there was probably a few other guards that maybe we thought were maybe ahead of him, and he's just outworked everybody. And uh, he's just outworked everybody. And he, he lives, breathes, and dies it, and uh, he's just turned himself into one heck of a player. And, he deserves that MVP. I think he should be MVP of the regular season as well. I mean, he's just a special player. And, Coach, I started to, uh, started to hint at these guys, and I'll give you a chance. I mean, you get a lot of the credit, but your staff, I know you put a lot oh, on yeah. them. Can you just talk about what those guys do and what they, how they help prepare, help, help you prepare, uh, but help these guys prepare? I, I can't even begin to explain what, what my assistant coaches mean to me. You know, Coach Sales, Coach McCain, Coach Kenny, uh, they put in an absurd amount of work. And um, 
they deal with me. I mean, that, that, it's even harder for them to deal with me than it is the players probably, right? And uh, they're great guys. I love being around them. We're, we're like best friends, you know. I mean, uh, not only do we work together, we, we enjoy being around each other. And uh, I think that shows with our guys, you know, and I'm just – I love those guys. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy this one. Thanks. Appreciate it. Congrats, Coach. We're joined now by Mason Leidick. What's going on, guys? What's up, man? What's up? OAC champs. Yeah, man. Feels great. So talk about tonight. I mean, I know you uh, probably a little frustrated there early in that first half getting those fouls and kind of feeling like not getting in a rhythm. But when you came out in the second half, it was like, give me the ball. I need to get into this Oh, game. yeah. I was a little frustrated because it was a little ticky-tack fouls. But, you know, I, my teammates had my back, and we were all sailing from there. So, you know, we talked about this before throughout the season about how you guys, probably from the day one when you got back here in December, that you hadn't won this game. You hadn't yeah. won this game since you guys have been here. How important was it? I mean, getting the regular season is one thing, but how important was this team to get this win tonight? Oh, I mean, we've been talking about it all year long. Because, I mean, like I said the uh, other day, uh, once we found out the uh, NCAA tournament was canceled, we were like, this is all we got. we got to go out and win. I know, and, and I hate to ask this, but I, I just feel like I have to, and that's you guys are playing so well right now. i got to imagine you guys feel like if you were in an NCAA tournament right now, you'd have a shot to oh, yeah. go pretty far. We would have all the confidence in the world right now. So, I, and again, I don't want to harp on it, but how frustrating is it to know that you're not getting that chance this year with the way this team is playing? Uh, I mean, f for me, I've kind of sat on a little bit. You know, we found out a while ago, kind of made my dues with it. You know, that's why we had this uh, – Big, big goal to go win the OAC championship, and we got it done. And again, just if you could talk about the teammates and everything that you guys have done. I mean, you've had to kind of stay in that bubble. You had to kind of stay in that group and not let it happen. Coach even said, you know, you you got through this whole season. We, ne you know, this team never had an uh, issue with a, a positive test seniors, of the season and those kind of things. Could you just talk about like that commitment Reader, to what you guys Jason made to this Ellis, this season and this team? And oh yeah, I mean, Kyle we knew the season wasn't very long. We only had a short amount of time, and we told the guys, you know, suck it up. Can't go out. Can't you can't do you know all these things that we wanted to do? But you know, now it's over. We got a championship. Now we can go celebrate. Mason, congratulations. Enjoy this one tonight. Thank you. Hey, yep. I got to shout out BT and Carrie back at home and the boys. All right, we're glad. Hopefully they're listening. I'm sure they still are. Oh yeah, did OAC tournament MVP Jason Ellis joins us now. How's it going? Good. How's that sound? OAC tournament MVP. Yeah. It sounds good. I'm just glad we finally could. have say we won that it's my first time winning that so it felt good it felt good to see shots go in and play so well and everybody play so well and score it in like that it's it's relieving so it's nice so is the score the most relieving part or was it getting those four points that you knew you had to get tonight to get to a thousand out of the way really fast uh i don't know it's like a thousand is like a milestone of mine it's like a personal goal but you know, i play basketball to celebrate with the team and me and this team, we worked, we worked all year, been through a lot this year, so it, it just it feels so good to finally do it, finally get this win with everybody and, and celebrate this. Uh, this, is a, this is a great team. we got some good young guys, so it's, it's amazing. And, and other than Kyle, everybody could be back next year, so you've got to yes. be pretty uh, excited about what still the future has for you and this team. Yeah, oh, very excited. I mean, Kyle, Kyle we're going to miss Kyle a lot. I mean, what, he had 17 boards tonight? He always <laughs> cleans up the glass, but yeah, we're going to miss him. But this year was, I felt like it, at the beginning of the year was kind of learning for the young guys because we have a lot of guys that played and didn't get much experience the years before. But um, so it was, it was nice to see them develop over the year, let alone how much they're going to come back next year in a whole second year with a whole nother summer under, summer under the belt of summer workouts and being with the team. So super excited for everybody coming back next year. So when you think back on this season, you realize it was, you know, the oddity that it was. But, uh, and, and Coach said this last week, he said again tonight, um, you guys did it better than anybody else. Can you just talk about knowing that no matter what it was, Merida College did it better than anybody else this year? Yeah, I mean, that's what we preached from day one since we got back on campus. Uh, we just preached to everybody. Uh, these guys are probably tired of hearing me <laughs> yell at them, like, just stay with it, stay the course, just get better every day, and it's all going to work out in our favor. And, I mean, it's... You can't, you can't dream of anything else. The teammates, players, coaches, everybody worked so hard in this program, and, and we deserve this. We most definitely deserved it. I mean, we worked, we worked hard all year, been through a lot, so it was really nice winning this. Jason, we gave Mason an opportunity to say, give a little shout-out to someone back home. Is there anybody you'd like to shout-out? Uh, man, my family. My family. I miss my family. My niece and nephew uh, just turned one. I wish they could be here to see me, but 
glad I'm coming back next year to see them. Uh, but I miss them. So. Congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. this one. Thank you. Thank you.